go. What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. Welcome back. Back with episode two of Mad Men. Yeah. Watched the pilot last week. Really loved it. Yeah. Great show. Yeah. Really, really well written. An introduction to a lot of great and awful characters. <laughs> Most of them are pretty terrible, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can kind of see, like, you know, we're setting up, obviously, where we're going to go with the show that ran for quite a while yeah. and went out on its own terms. Um, but, you know, I was thinking about, like, look how awful all these people are. But I was going back to the editing. It's like, you know, it starts in 1960, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's going to go through, like, the most tumultuous decade in American history, right? I think in, it's Until pretty, recently, uh, right? Pretty so, purposeful. Yeah. I mean, like, we're, we're going to, we're probably on the show going to go through civil rights. Oh, yeah. I didn't Vietnam. The assassination oh, yeah. of Kennedy, oh, I didn't think about the hippies, that. the 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 sexual revolution. I mean, the Civil Rights Act and the sexual revolution clearly are things that they're setting up on the show, right? Yeah, because like, look how much this is fun for minorities and for women. Was that uh, McCarthyism? Was that like the fifties? I think it was late like fifties. So we're kind of coming out of that, going right. into like this huge change. Yeah, in, it's it's uh, the it's the yeah, it's the counterculture emergence yeah. is going to be during this show. Very cool uh, idea for a show, actually. Right, and had like, that set in an ad company. Yeah, like yeah, where, where you're basically like selling an image of America to yeah. Americans when the America's American changing. image is in upheaval. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, obviously, like all the characters are, are pretty pretty terrible people, but I mean that's purposeful. They're all supposed to be complex, interesting characters that have a lot of faults. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. So, and, and also, it, it's interesting to see how the women in this world play the game, you know? Right. Because Elizabeth Moss, Elizabeth, wow, it's kind of a tongue twister. Elizabeth Moss seems to be uh, quite savvy. Yeah. I mean, she's going to be playing that game pretty well, it looks like. Well, she uh, she reached out to Pete, didn't she? She After sure After he did. reached out to her, but yeah, she was she was welcoming of it. I want to see where that goes. Obviously, like, the, the huge twist in the first uh, episode where uh, Don is married with kids. Right, yeah, they really caught us. That that, that, that was a clear misdirect for we the whole episode. We thought he was a bachelor the whole time. Right. I, was I did like, too, yeah. This guy's, uh, he's, he's out here willing to deal in. Oh, he's got kids. Okay. Right, yeah. You suck And he too. seemed like more of the stand-up guy, right? Because, like, Peggy yeah. came on to him and he, like, shut her down. Oh which I'm sure has a lot to do with why Peggy was so willing to be with Pete after after that it's like yeah. well her self-confidence yeah. must be in the toilet he shot her down he shot her down hard cry, i am man. not your boyfriend and i'll fire you <laughs> what's he say to the other lady i'm not gonna sit here and let a woman talk to me like that yeah like, okay don chill out yeah <laughs> so i think he might end up i mean he's married however you want to word it dating her down the road because sure. apparently he has no problem with that yeah he's yeah i mean his house is outside the city too right he obviously has an apartment and stays in the city because he didn't go home the night before he stayed with another yeah. woman and, she, and his wife January Jones, when he got home, was like, oh, I thought you were going to stay in the city again. Like, So he has his own place in the city for his long work days. Just getting trashed all day. Yeah, right. <laughs> getting trashed all day. This is my 40th cigarette of the day. <laughs> right. And I've like had nothing but cocktail. scotch and Alka-Seltzer. Oh. God, talk about a stomach ulcer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's not, and he gets home and she says, are you hungry? And he says, not for food. Probably, like, yeah. I would be. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, but uh, eager to see where this goes. But I think we're going to start to see a lot of transitional stuff. Yes. Very uh, curious to see like what what ads they run too because right now they're they're on the cigarette Lucky Stripes which I didn't realize was a real cigarette company Lucky Stripes oh yeah that was a big one during the war yeah uh, before we get going guys uh, if you're watching this on YouTube make sure you hit the like button leave us a comment and please please subscribe yes please subscribe we're so close to hitting a, a big milestone on the page so if you want to help us out with that thank that you would so be much, really guys. really groovy we would very much appreciate that yes we would um, over on Patreon if you guys want to see the full length reaction. <laughs> Uh, make sure you have your own copy of the show because we can't show any of it on there. Copyrights. Yep, we're watching on AMC Plus. Yep, I believe it's also free though. So if you guys don't want to pay for it, you can watch it for free on Amazon. I think it's like freebie or something. On yeah, there, there so. will be commercial issues though if you're watching on yeah. Patreon with that that we have no control over. Sorry. What we're watching has no commercials. Yeah. So if you're watching the free, we're gonna have to make adjustments when you're syncing. Uh, yes. As you go through that, that's and it's not going to be easy, um, <laughs> honestly. Um, we would like to welcome two new patrons, so CJH and Savannah Cogley. Thank you and welcome. We welcome, really do guys. appreciate it. Our link to our Patreon is in the description below. And with that, let's go ahead and start the show here. Ladies' room. I doubt they're referring to the restroom. <laughs> I highly doubt it, yeah. My nanny, Belva, made fried chicken. I used to take it to school wrapped in wax paper. His sweet Belvedere. Mm. Yeah, the really nanny growing up. Woman. My parents got rid of her after the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> <laughs> I turned out just fine. Didn't have to go to a psychiatrist like some people's kids. Alan. Cannot wait until that girl is another man's problem. Jesus. What about you, Don? Do you have a nanny? I can't tell you about my childhood. It ruined the first half of my novel. An ad man who doesn't like to talk about himself? I think I may cry. <laughs> it's not that interesting a story. What was the egg for? It was in a, the, it was a martini. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Eggs and martinis. Okay. 
I'm sure it's a thing that I've never had. <laughs> so they used to make old whiskey sours. Right. Yeah. Do you ever have that when your hands go numb? Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't either. You want me to touch yeah. you up? <laughs> yeah, I think you'll have to. I don't know if I told you, but my mother died three months ago. I'm sorry. There are other ladies waiting to use the mirror. But she couldn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe it's just manners, but I was raised to see it as a sin of pride to go on like that about yourself. Oh, yeah. Something's up with her. She's Pull over. Uh, it's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. yeah. To be quite honest, I'm surprised he's not yakking from drinking yeah. all day like that. Right. He's used to it. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, Pets. It's like politics, religion, or sex. Why talk about it? <laughs> so he's cryptic oh, yeah. about his background. I'm sure we'll get some insight into it later. Of course. On, yeah. I wonder what's vexing her, though. Something's up. Yeah. Her mom died and she doesn't really know her husband that well. Yeah. Stuck at home with the kids. Yeah. the 60s i'm not okay yeah <laughs> maybe it is maybe it's the ladies room is really the ladies yeah. room the conversations the moments they have in there do not puncture or incinerate sounds dangerous oh no come on just pretend it's prom night you can be the girl oh my oh, god, god. god. Whoa. so That's roger mentioned this nixon thing yeah he mentioned it i just assumed it went away yeah, so whether Dick Nixon likes it or not, we will give our people what they want. Agreed? <laughs> oh my God, that was great! Oh, yeah. I bring my lunch at least until after the first of the month. Oh, that banana Get looks terrible. Sense. Ripe, yeah. That sandwich is making me sad. It's a postcard from Campbell. It's a Hunter sandwich. <laughs> Can we buy you lunch? Oh, I don't know. We hadn't planned on eating. Come on, three on two. I know you all like being outnumbered. It's two on two. God, these guys are such you still dinguses. Have to lunch. They really are. Left the room apparently. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. That's so awkward. That stinker. Yeah. Well, it's awkward for Peggy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, she knows. I mean, right. she, she's she looking knew. right at right. yeah. Oh, baby, I shouldn't <laughs> tell you this, but uh, you are the subject of much debate. Money riding on the outcome. Money for me. Now there's even a third possibility. <laughs> Good God. I ran into Winita Cabot at Square Dancing, and I found out who's moving to that little Dutch colonial down the street. Who? Divorced. Really? Nine-year-old boy and a baby. If the clothes from that dry cleaning bag are on the floor of my closet, you're going to be a very sorry That's funny. Man. That's good writing right there. <laughs> Kids playing with plastic bags and they worry about the clothes. Yeah. Yeah, she's having a nerve issue. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, <coughs> get the TV. I got it. A guy bought it for yeah, her. You that wig? Is. Someone gave it to me. Also, you're married, bro. Chill out. Right? Yeah, you don't. You don't have a, the right to be jealous. No. What? Yeah. <laughs> They okay. killed somebody. Your places. How insecure is Don deep down, though? If he's in, if he's jealous of his mistress, might be seeing somebody else. He seems like an ass. He yeah. Really does. They said there was nothing physically wrong with me. So she needs to see a therapist. And I told him what happened, and he said that I should see a psychiatrist. Yeah. He seemed very concerned. If you want to know. So that's their solution. Why not open the hood and poke around? I'll get a specialist from, from Bert Cooper. His name's on a wall over at St. Vincent's. This is that man fix everything yes. mentality. I always thought people saw psychiatrists when they were unhappy. Oh. I look at you. I'm, I'm much too happy. You're too happy to possibly need help. Yeah. 
And she could be unhappy. She's, She's a stay-at-home wife. She, yeah, she might, she might not even know how unhappy she is. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you think is best. <sighs> this is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, he just told her she doesn't need the help. Yeah. Right card. <laughs> it works in my suit or yours. We'll punch the yellow of the moon so it pops behind it. Who buys this? Some woman. Your girl or your mother will pick this up that's Walking true. Through Back then, the yeah. Grocery store or the druggist. What would make a woman look at this man's deodorant and say, "I want that"? Well, I've stopped trying to figure out what they think. Maybe I should stop paying you. <laughs> <laughs> what if they want something else? Oh yeah. Inside He's... some mysterious wish that we're ignoring. That's interesting. It is. He's actually being thoughtful about his own life. Yeah. And it reflects on his work. Yeah. That's interesting. Wow. What a great take. That's some good writing right there. It is. Actually, all you really need to know. They don't sell ideas or campaigns or jingles. They sell media at a 15% markup. Creative is just window dressing. Interesting. It's thrown in for free. Yeah. Submitted for your approval. <laughs> Campbell. Huh. Watch it. Twilight Zone. Have you seen it? The Twilight Zone? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't like science fiction. <laughs> well, he seems all right. Yeah. Yeah. If he's hitting on her, he wasn't gross about it. No. What do women want? Who cares? <laughs> Who could not be happy with all this? Jesus, you know what they want? Everything. Especially if the other girls have it. <laughs> Did you look at Sally's face? I think she has a bruise. I didn't see it. Not that I c could have killed the kids, but worse, it's this Sally could have survived and gone on living with this horrible scar on her face. And it's worse than that's dying. worse than dying. Some long, lonely, miserable life. She go to a therapist. Please, you see, I think he's seeing it yeah. right now. Yeah. That's clever. Yeah. Okay. Oh, never mind. There it okay. is. Yeah. I guess I'll go to the car. You want something? I don't even like to sit in Don's chair. Everyone I assumes that she's so sleeping good. with Don. Well, we were wrong about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him way too much credit. We did. Why is it that every time a man takes you out to lunch around here, you're, you're the dessert? That's terrible. It's constant <laughs> from every corner. But you're the new girl, and you're not much, so you might as well enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, boy. Dang. Dang. Jesus. Joan sucks, too. Yeah, that was rough. Kind of the queen hand. Walking yeah, around she's gotta bit. be. Yeah. With all these guys running around there. She seems quite battle-hearted, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. my thing with her, yeah. is I don't hate her because she's got, she's probably gone through all of it yeah. a thousand times. That's worse, yeah. you know, yeah. Oh, she actually misses Pete. That's weird. Did not see that coming. I know. Nobody misses Pete. Yeah. Read <laughs> it in a magazine. Is he going to say anything to her? Yeah, it is weird he's not talking. Yeah. Not giving her anything. Can I smoke in here? How was your day? <laughs> Fine. You know I work with doctors. They'll say anything you pay them to. Of course, dear. I hope he doesn't leave her, because that'd be really crappy. If he's like, because like they kind of foreshadowed something happening, because like they they focus on the the divorced lady there. Like, yeah, she's worried about that's being true. divorced. She doesn't really know him. And... Well. Well. I had a very interesting hour with your wife this afternoon. That's Boy, those are different rules than they have now. God, yeah. I think you're doing the right thing. What a crap doctor. I know. Well, I want to hear his take on it, obviously, but... Yeah, but Don shouldn't hear his take no, on it. No, no. She's not your property. She's your wife. Right, yeah. Hey, guess what? Your wife's really unhappy and you're the problem. Now go beat her. Now go beat her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. What a brilliant episode. That yes. was like one of the best written pieces of TV ever. Like, and we're only, that's the, the writing is episode. really good here, yeah. The ladies' room. What a great idea. Yeah. You can tell, like, so Matthew, uh, 
well, it's spelled Weiner. Is it Weiner? Matthew Weiner? I think it's Weiner, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can tell he's got lots of ideas about America, especially at this time. And right. It's so interesting to see how this plays out. I, I, I like how they're presenting it, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of show, don't tell, which is what good writing is. Yeah. And this is good writing. I don't know why, but this time of the year, wintertime is when we're watching this, um, I'm a sucker for period pieces. Sure, absolutely. 40s, 50s, 60s. I love that setting. Right. This is really scratching that itch for me. So it's cool to see that the the, the, uh, the the sets in the show are incredible. But um, normally when you see movies like that from back in the day, like Some Like It Hot or Just right. Before Blondes, you don't really get the sense of, it, of how problematic things really were. Oh, yeah. No, this definitely, like, you know, is it, taking the darker turn of nostalgia oh my god where it's like you know it was like oh the 50s you know why yeah. can't we get back to those traditional it's family values and like it all. was not no. great it no. is this is it, it's it was an image but yeah. it wasn't reality which is why advertising is a great lens to do this through yeah it's all about image and not about what's really going on because that's kind of if you look back at history books or like look back at like museums like that's what pop culture was it's all yeah. ads it's all yeah. like these like campbell's tomato soup the andy warhol yeah. thing you know? right yeah like, absolutely and um I lost my train of thought there. But yeah, it, it's really interesting. Like the 60s in general, though, was such an interesting point in time. I mean, you got the bomb going on. Right. You got Kennedy. You got Vietnam starting up, like right. you mentioned. Yeah, it's all upheaval. This is this is a yeah. time period. This is like the like the, that that post-war, like yeah. everyone come home and get married and have babies and buy a house and will economically destroy the Russians instead of militarily conform, conform, conform. Yeah. And the 60s when everyone's like, that was enough of that. Uh, now it's time to change it up. It, well, obviously, like, this, this lasted for, what, 30 years, 20 years? I mean... Yeah, it lasted a minute after World War II. Yeah, it's like the 60s and the 80s is when it really came to a cold. Right. Heights, you know, so... Anyways, guys, um, great episode. Yeah, the writing is exceptional. V- very, very good. Um, Elizabeth Moss is kind of stealing the show for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm really liking to get... I, I hope we get a lot more of John Slattery, too, because... Uh, He's great. Sterling, that is, that's his name? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, I th- I, so I noticed in the opening credits it said special appearance by John Slattery. Obviously, he's on the show. Yeah, no, I know he becomes a regular just yeah, from, they like, make him a series every, every yeah. image you ever see of the show has him on He's it. in it, yeah. yeah. And it's like, especially in the later, uh, later seasons, you see... Uh, I think it's Jared Harris joins the show eventually. Does he? Yeah, he was... Richard Harris was his father. Right, right. Uh, but he was in uh, uh, the Sherlock Holmes movie. Okay. He played Moriarty. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's also Chernobyl. Yeah, I think he's the main yeah. protagonist in Chernobyl. Yeah. yeah. So I, I can't wait to see the cast fill out. Obviously, like, you know, slow burn. I'm here for the ride. Oh, yeah, this is great. Can't wait to see where they're going with this yeah, show. Good television, man. Absolutely. All right, thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, take care, everybody. I can figure this out. <laughs> Since AMC's there. It's a go. weird layout. Right.